Hello and welcome back to Iron. I'm Robert and would like to show you uh, our next uh, video YouTube tutorial. And in our today's example we want to create uh, some kind of blur or displays along a path effect like here. So switch over to a new comp with this image already loaded. And to create this effect we use a grid warp tool. And in the grid warp tool and we uh, set up the ground source grid in a way so that it follows the street. So we can imagine, uh, for example, that water flows uh, along the street here. And you see that I have two um, rows of mesh points for each side of the street here. And the goal is to set up uh, the source grid in a way so that it follows the street but later in the destination grid we uh, only modify the inner rows of our points here. So you know that the grid warp um, deforms or displaces the pixels in a way using this grid or, or uh, to be more precise. The difference between the source and the destination grid is taken for uh, creating the displacement effect. And we uh, use it to determine the offset vectors between the source and destination grid. So I'm finished here and I've copied my source grid into the destination grid and you see that I'm only changing the points um, inside the whole mesh here so that you can imagine water flows along the street like this way. So I don't want um, to use the grid warp on the image itself um, since I want to uh, know the, uh, the offsets for each point between source and destination I use a custom tool in front of it and map the X coordinate into the red channel, the green coordinate into the Y channel and blue, I don't care. And now the grid warp affects this uh, so-called screen space coordinate image. Set the render quality to high and uh, switch off the black background option. And now I use a channel boolean tool in subtract mode to uh, subtract the distorted image from the undistorted one. And this technique only works in floating point 32 bit, so is, uh, if you turn on the out again option you see the image itself. These values are too small to uh, handle them in a artist friendly way, so I crank them up using a brightness contrast tool. And actually these are our uh, vectors itself, so um, I use the vector motion blur tool map the red channel for X and the white green channel for Y and play around with the values and you see our blur follows the path of the grid form. You can also use the displace tool in XY mode in the same way as the uh, uh, vector motion blur tool and you see the pixels are now displaced along the path. This is for example a good way to do actually a morph the grid warp without modifying the points in an animation, for example. After you have uh, setup is completed, you can play around with the points, adjust the effect as you want, like in my um, more completed example here. Um, here I also created uh, some more tools. You can download the comp and see uh, how it was done. In this case here, rotating the vectors. So the blur does not follow the, the street itself, um, it's aligned in a perpendicular way to the street. Playing around with the displace effect as well. The amount of displacement, like here, and the orientation of this displacement generated by the create bump map tool. Of course, you can also um, sharpen along the path and yeah, and do some special kind of uh, uh, path based, grid walk based, architect effects. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah, thanks for watching.